Oh, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Above the Fold, a channel devoted to monolid makeup tips and tricks. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to watercolor paint. Um, wait, let me first rephrase and clarify. Watercolor paint your lids, that is. on you know Pinterest, Instagram, and on different celebrities and essentially it's creating a work of art on your lids by using a dreamy, bold, multicolor splash of colors. It got me really excited because it really pushes the boundaries of makeup. If you're not you know mixing in and doing a lot of blending with the colors, essentially you're breaking those rules and creating um, a look with different colors distinctly being displayed and not blended together. And I've seen so many variations of this look. Um, I've seen it with love corals, I've seen it with blues and pinks, so really the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want with this look. And that's really what excites me because it allows me to be super creative and experiment with different colors of eyeshadows, which I love to do. So yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look. I used um, corals and greens and um, yeah, I want to show you my version of the watercolor lids look and stay tuned if you want to find out how I create this look. And if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm continuously building up my channel with new and fresh content and I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything. Um, but before we get into it, guys but it's been like super hot here recently i don't know if you guys are experiencing this excessive heat um as well wherever you guys are from um but yeah it's been like super hot and um i've been just putting my hair in these um double dutch braids or boxer braids almost every day and i find it really helps you know get my hair out of my face look neat and also it does help me stay cool I actually did film a tutorial on this look, so if you're interested in how to create this look, it's actually not super hard. Um, you can go ahead, I'll link it down below and check it out. So yeah, without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, so you want to first start off with prepping and priming your face, which I have already done so. And after that, um, I'm going to start off with priming my lids. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then next is the fun part. We're going to start um, selecting what group of colors we want to comprise our watercolor work of art on our lids. So, um, I'm actually going to be using my Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette. So I'm really happy to say I've actually been getting so much usage out of this palette. And anytime I get a lot of usage out of a palette, I'm just really excited and stoked because it just means I'm really getting my face on my buck. So um, I am actually, so I've seen so many different variations of this watercolor painting look. It's really up to you what kind of color scheme you want to go for. But today I'm actually um, going to be using this raspberry rosé color. So it's like this little coral shade. I might mix in a bit of frosted apricot. And I'm also going to be using this beautiful mint chocolate green shade. You want to segment out your lid into different sections if that makes sense. Um, because rather than really blending a lot, you want each shade to have to stand out distinctly so that you create this like 
these bold splashes of colors on your lid. So I've seen people split their lid into like three sections, but I tried doing that. I don't think it looks very good on me. So I'm actually just going to be splitting it into two sections. So for the, um, the inner thirds, I'm going to be using this raspberry rosé shade and then for the outer shade or for the outer part of the lid, I'm going to be using the mint chocolate. But um, before I go ahead and start putting all these colors on my lid, I'm going to first apply a foundational base color. The shade is the cake batter one right here. So I'm just going to first dust that all over my lid. start having fun with the shade. So for the inner thirds, I'm going to go ahead and start doing a combination of raspberry rosé and frosted apricot. Okay, here's like this gorgeous coral shade. And then now I'm going to go on with mint chocolate in the outer area. Okay, as you can see, it creates this beautiful complementary two-tone um, shade of colors on your lids. And to complete this look, I'm going to bring some of the colors to my lower lash line as well. So I'm going to again um, bring some of the frosted apricot and then the mint chocolate to the lower lash line. Um, and then also bring some frosted apricot to the, um, the inner lower lash line area. Okay, even though I have put all these different colors on my lids, I still want to do some highlight because I think it just really opens up your um, opens up your eyes and creates this this dewy radiance. So I'm going to again using my Stila Shimmer and Glow in Kitten and just going to apply some to um, the middle part of the lids just to create this like dewy radiance and also the inner corners of the eyes and the outer corners. Good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner. So I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Liner and I'm just going to draw it out into an extended eyeliner look. debating the step um, about tracing over the liner with an eye, a colored eye pencil, uh, which I usually do just because I wasn't sure it was going to, you know, take away from the whole multicolor watercolor effect. But actually, I still like the look of having um, this mossy green shade over my eyeliner because as I mentioned before, I do draw a thicker line um, given that I have monolids and I feel like it just softens up the look and I think actually it goes so it goes pretty well with the overall color scheme of the look and I mean 
it's already multicolored, so I don't think this is really going to hurt the look. So it brings on to the lower lash line as well. Okay, that looks about good. And then I am going to go ahead and curl my lashes with the Shiseido eyelash curler. And I'm going to, after that, then apply my mascara and um, big surprise not really I haven't really been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I'm actually I have been using the Monsoor Big Lancome mascara I'm actually going to um, film a video where I do a review about it um, So after I finish, I pretty much nearly done with the look. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some blush. So my Too Faced Perfect Blush blush. And then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. And then for the last step, I'm going to be using my trusty color design Lancome lipstick in Oh My Shimmer. I honestly have just been over using this a lot recently just because I think it's such a great bronze shimmery shade that goes well with a lot of summer looks. So that's honestly why I've been kind of using this on repeat. And there you have it, this is the finished look. Um, I think it's just, it creates this very beautiful, whimsical, dreamy, multicolor splash of colors on your lids and allows you to push your boundaries and be creative with your makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and stay tuned for more informative and entertaining content from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.